Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some Badlander beginner series stuff. And last time we did, <coughs> sorry, optics. So this time we're going to do muzzles. Um, <coughs> so there's four different types. You have suppressors, which are the best. Um, muzzle brakes, which are second best. And flash hiders, which are not good. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Um, they do increase range, but like, who gives a flying? And the muzzle flame, like, it's not even really a thing. So I think they just like, they were like, whatever with that. Um, <clears throat> and then chokes are just for shotguns. So, uh, the mods for muzzle attachments, um, these two right here are no longer dropping in the game, so if you search for them, they're going to be super expensive. Um, <clears throat> and there was one. So, like, yeah, in auto, full auto mode, uh, it reduces the recoil your first shot by 80%. So, this isn't in the game anymore. That's why it's so expensive. Um, you can still find them. People have them. Because they had them when it was in the game. And it's just, they, they've made it stop dropping this mod on stuff so you can't find it anymore and then there's powerful blow uh, which is the same deal uh, it does 8% damage to non headshot damage <clears throat> and it's way overpriced like for what it does really the rifling and the AP mod are the best mods for muzzles so these are the two you're looking for and if you can find them together they're the best uh, like this it is excellent but, if you get one or the other with airtight, that's probably the next best, and it's way more affordable, as you can see. Um, so, if you want a weapon to be really good and do good damage, you want a mod like that. And then you could throw on a third mod if you want, if you want extra headshot damage, yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> headshot damage, I don't use headshot damage on a lot of things. I think on most things... Uh, it's not really necessary, but it can be really good, uh, and you do get 10%, so, you know, that's probably the next really good, like, as far as damaging mod goes. Silencer device is just really nice to have so that people can't pinpoint your gunfire, because people run towards gunfire. Um, that's nice to have if you have an extra slot, or if you're, you're playing a... Uh, suppression build that because if you get some weapons, some weapons have like uh, increased silence capabilities, and if you put silencer mod on it, basically it's almost silent, so it's really hard for people to like pinpoint where you are or run towards your gunshots, um, which increases the chance that you'll actually successfully be able to loot something without getting killed while you're looting, uh, which is a thing. Uh, then you have destructive shooting, and this mod is, it gives you a little bit of RPM, like so uh, your weapon will fire faster, but it also increases the durability consumption of their armor. So if you're, you're doing a, a, what's it, a, what's it called, it's called bursting bullet, that's it, I was like, bullet, well, <laughs> I had a brain fart there for a second. Yeah, bursting bullet, if you're doing a bursting bullet build, destructive shooting is... Um, probably something you want to run on your muzzle because it'll just help you break down that armor that much quicker um, but barrel improvement is another really good mod because you get an increased 10% and I think if you put these two together you get a pretty awesome like a 15% increase in RPM and it can start getting expensive um, but like if you do like rifling barrel improvement, that's a pretty awesome one. And I mean, it's sort of expensive. It's the price of a T5, but it is really good as well. Um, I probably wouldn't run it over air rifling airtight, uh, except on certain guns that already kind of fire fast. Um, or like, it's probably still pretty good on an M4, but I would say the damage is probably better, to be honest. Um, but it's a real close second, if not about equal. Um, then you have like floating barrel. Floating barrel, uh, it, it does help. It's a good third stat. It's not going to be your primary two. Um, 
it's just like silencer device and long barrel it's so your primary ones that you're looking at that are really good is going to be rifle AP large and airtight those are your damage mods um, powerful blow I'm not even include it because it's super expensive then you have your RPM builds down here then you have like your other ones like deep damage is really good because it uh, whenever you hit somebody if they get behind cover they can't heal up as quickly so you could still push them and kill finish them off before they can heal back up it's a really good mod to use a lot of people will just run like rifling deep damage uh, which is cheap um, AP tends to be a bit more expensive as you can see so most people myself included run the rifling instead uh, and then these ones here are your your third stat. Uh, like you can, I would, you could switch out deep for silencer. Like I, I use these in conjunction. If you have them all three, I mean, you get a pretty awesome suppressor. But uh, yeah, like I would swap out. I, I would use either rifling on almost everything that can take a normal attachment, and I would use a suppressor exclusively unless you're really hurting for cash if you're really hurting for cash you can go muzzle break because it is going to be cheaper i think in most instances yeah but not by much so not by too much you're better off with a suppressor um unless your gun is like you have a really hard time controlling the recoil of your gun and then maybe a muzzle break is but then you got to be really quick at looting so you're going to want to loot and move because somebody probably is running towards your gunshots because they're hoping to the third party you and or kill you while you're looting. And they will. So, um, that's pretty much it. Vibration dampening, a lot of people throw this on guns, and I've been testing it, and there's not very many guns where it actually does anything. At least not at the distances you can test in the, uh, the shooting range. So... And we'll, we'll get into that when I go into the, the weapon builds. So, as far as, like, using good mods, you, you want to use a damage mod. Whatever you can afford, the best thing you can afford. And usually, AP is better than damage. So, this, I've already tested it. Like, the damage is not as good as the armor-piercing ones. It's, it's next best, but it's not as good. These are way better. I mean, the increased range alone is nice on a lot of weapons. So you're going to want to run a damage mod. Then you're going to want to pick a secondary, which is either going to be like maybe large caliber, maybe deep, silencer, long, or vibration, depending on your build, or barrel or destructive. And then you could take a third, which are pretty much all those as well. But if you want your weapon to do good damage... You need one of these two on your muzzle. And then for chokes, like shotguns, it works pretty much the same, but floating barrel then becomes pretty good because it decreases your initial spread and you can get more pellets on target, which makes them die faster. Maybe not faster, but like when they're supposed to because sometimes it reduces your chances of getting a bad spread. So like if you do rifle floating... It's still super cheap, and you get some nice spread, at least in close range. Um, but deep damage is always good, and then so is going airtight. But you're going to pay a little bit more for the airtight. Um, vibration dampening for shotguns, though, actually like does help, because shotgun has a pretty huge damage drop-off. So using like rifling, which increases the range, and vibration is another good strategy. And it's not expensive, as you can see. So you'll get you'll you'll reach out a little further, and it'll do more damage at longer ranges than it otherwise would. So, but that's about the only difference between like the chokes and the normal stuff. So uh, that's going to be it for this one. This was just the uh, the muzzles. In the next video, we'll get into magazines, which is your other most important attachment. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.